this felt like a bit of a daft purchase, if I'm honest. You know, I already owned the Core Optimus and the Buzzworthy Bumblebee that the toys in this set come from. They're just in slightly different colours, but having them both together in one set alongside a brand new Core Class trailer for Optimus, they got me. You know, I, I would say hats off to them, but it is getting colder and my head is bald. The box is nice, isn't it? You know, we don't give the box art enough credit sometimes. I do love that 80s birthday card sheen over the whole thing. I hope we get a legacy art book eventually because I am a massive patron of the arts and very classy. First up, Optimus here is much brighter than his previous release. Everything's just dialed up a little bit new. Yellow accents, it feels more in line with the classic cartoon style. I like it. A lot of folks don't like that bare white plastic. I think it works here and on such a small figure there isn't really enough of it to annoy me. What I don't like is that white panel around the neck here. I wish it could have been red. It looks kind of unfinished. You know, other than that, he's great. Nice proportions, he's posable. He comes with a nicely sized ion cannon, a great wee toy. Other accessories, you've got this riot shield. You can swing Optimus' hand around and plug in. I like this. It feels like a new addition to his repertoire and it suits the big boy. There's also the Energon axe you can plug in the same way. I'm in the minority here. I know I don't think I could care less about Optimus having an axe. But the transformation is quite fun, like a rolled back version of the Earthrise toy, the upper torso turning around. And from there, it's just as simple as you'd expect. The truck mode is nice enough, but it feels way too thin for me. I would have liked it to have been a little bit wider. You know, maybe the effect of the robot mode proportions would have been too much, but I don't know. I don't, I don't run Hasbro. Yet. Take the riot shield and attach that pleasingly snugly to the back and you've got your hitch for the trailer. That's good, isn't it? Look at him. It's a tiny wee Optimus Prime. I do think though, in a premium set like this, there's an ugly white block on the side of the cab we could have got rid of. Maybe if they'd made the side the same colour as the windshield, make it look like a window. You know, it's not the end of the world, it just looks a little bit rough. Bumblebee is a great wee toy here and he does share in having some small niggles. The big difference from the original is that we have this cartoon-like grey instead of black plastic. I prefer the grey, it's friendlier, it's softer, it's like Bumblebee should be. And right away, I love the proportions, the squat chubbiness of it all. He's my best friend. There's a lot of mobility options too, and I know you'll probably have a problem with these wings on the back, but I don't mind them. Either straight at the back or at the sides. He's called Bumblebee. I do not mind if he has wings. But we get this tiny little gun as standard, and also new, we get this cartoon-accurate black gun so he can dual wield like in Time Splitters 2. The transformation is decent, but he will pop off an arm during it. That is a fact of life. Still, it results in a very cute, stubby little car. The wings become the wheel arches in a very nice way. They click in so pleasingly, and that is a good bumblebee. You know, he shouldn't be a sleek sports car. This is what I'm into. You can store the small gun underneath him too, but where do you store the other one? Ah, it's the trailer. Okay, right, before we even open it, it's a very solid box. You know, of course it's largely hollow, but it doesn't feel overly light or cheap. It feels in line with the other legacy releases. We've got a kickstand here too, so no one spills their drinks. I do dislike that there aren't any tabs to just open the back door without digging a fingernail into this tiny sliver of space. And you can crack it open down the middle and do it, but it just feels awkward and inelegant. Inside, you've got it all. Storage for the axe, Prime's ion cannon, Bumblebee's other gun, roller, and the repair droid. There's even storage for the riot shield if you need it. The big problem I have right off the bat, there's no place for Roller. Roller's great, he's a tiny, adorable six-wheeler. They can pull the trailer while Prime and Bumblebee grab lunch or whatever. You know, I do wish there was some sort of peg here so he isn't rattling around inside like the last after eight in the box. When you've got the riot shield in there, there's a perfect peg for him, but there's nothing on Roller to plug into. It's a small shame. But we've got the repair drone too. He can come out with the arm here, he can extend, he can raise the claw and radar dish. It's cute. Remove the top of the droid and you can plop it onto roller so they can go around together repairing as they go and I love that. The whole trailer can stand up and act as a repair bay, although I do have it on good authority. No one in the history of Transformers has ever done this except for a YouTube video. One of the major reasons for me getting this set, you know, for some reason I really like that Bumblebee can fit inside the trailer. Now it should be noted you can't get everything in the trailer. You want Bumblebee in there, someone has to get out, either the repair droid or roller. Luckily, there's some versatility in the droid setup. You can have it hang around on the outside of the trailer, like so. Or you can pop the whole thing off and place them on the top, like a sort of Ecto-1 vibe. All of these storage solutions and interactivity between them, it feels like a playset more than just two toys. You know, the inclusion of that trailer brings two toys together and makes them greater than the sum of their parts. Does that work? 
mathematically. Anyway, look at Prime and Bumblebee, just the best of pals as it always should be. You know, imagine it like this. You, you know how you really like me? Well, imagine I actually liked you back. It'd be like that. Okay, goodbye.